Hey, what is up CSGO Roll DGENs? My name is Aiden and welcome back to another video here on CSGO Roll. Today, we're gonna be revisiting my uh, ultimate trading guide for CSGO Roll, where I touch on the three kinds of people that trade or you know just use CSGO Roll in general. So uh, if the description fits you and you find it helpful, leave me a like, subscribe. Uh, it all means a lot, especially with the state of YouTube's algorithm just being awful right now. Like the random view deletion you know things falling out of algorithm even though they're doing well like doesn't matter youtube's just kind of it's going dumb right now i don't know what youtube's doing but uh yeah with that being said all the support means a lot and uh yeah so to break it down just real quickly the three kinds of people we're gonna be touching on today uh are your average csgo role player someone who's gonna be gambling or you know maybe even just putting skins in to get skins out they're gonna play with their skins your trader and your investors your traders are gonna be probably trying to flip your flip skins from low percent to high percent more or less more than likely as well that's just how people do uh and your Investors are going to be looking at stickers, capsules, collectible skins, fluid skins, whatever. And they're going to be trying to find good deals on those so that they can hold them in the hopes that they can, you know, one day uh, make a buck on it. So, yeah. But anyways, guys, uh, just real quickly before we get into that part of the video, if you guys want to try the site out, you can head on up to deposit in the upper right just throw the code aiden in there for a five percent bonus on all deposits and it gets you three free cases if you happen to be new to the site also in my discord linked below uh i am running a leaderboard on there for 1500 coins so make sure that you get in there because it's getting bigger every month and you don't want to miss out competition gets higher every single day so yeah with that being said get in there before it's too late get yourself a nice little reward you know it's it's basically cash back on your deposits regardless of how they go so yeah look at it that way and uh without further ado let's get into the video so first off really simple we're starting with your you know average role player right so typically what i do if i'm looking for play skins and i'm just looking to withdraw uh you know no value no none of that like i'm not trying to trade anything right I head up to best deals and then I'll do like a quarter of my max balance. Say that we're uh, at 2000. So we're going to go 500, right? And we're going to look at best deals here. We're going to just like kind of make a little loadout, right? So right away, I see these uh, print streams right here. So we'll grab one of the print streams, right? I see this AK. We'll throw this AK in there um what else i mean i see these gloves i like these scarlet gloves i know a lot of people don't but i actually just like them so so much but all right we're gonna go with a red loadout here is what we're gonna do so we're gonna grab uh, i don't think we're gonna find a hot rod in this price range but we can use the atomic alloy it should look okay at least we got sunset storm uh we do need to find you know like here's an empress that's not a bad empress at all and kill confirmed gets rid of the print stream right i mean we're doing good uh wildfire for the op and an autotronic actually seems like a really good setup now don't ring me first you know selecting a bowie this is just an example for you guys but uh yeah we're gonna get rid of that and you could even do like an op boom in here too. If I can click on it, bro. This is moving so quickly that I can't even click on it. You know what? We're going to go hyper beast. Okay. So we're just a little bit over, but as you can see, like we found low percentage or semi low percentage items. Uh, and we were able to build pretty much a loadout with 2000 coins. Obviously that's a lot of coins. Uh, but you know, if you get real lucky on roll, it's likely that you will find your way to a thousand, 2000 coins off of 100 250 500 so yeah but uh also touching on to your traders uh it's pretty similar honestly i like to do like a fifth of my balance so if we're doing 2000 that's 400 and you once again want to look at best deals and then you want to keep in mind like desirable skins and desirable knife types so these are not these are not it at all uh just a few minutes ago i saw 
a really good one but also float matters so like field tested urban mass is not optimal it's not great but it does work uh print streams are great very fluid skins i mean they get withdrawn pretty quickly if you put them at the right price uh you know asimovs are a pretty safe bet as well if you're looking to trade uh red lines are like one of the most fluid skins in that have ever been in cs uh what else blood sports do pretty all right as far as i know but yeah you just want to keep your eye out for things that are desirable you want to keep at like a you know field tested and above wear because well worn and battle scarred are just not desired no one wants them um me personally i wouldn't get any dopplers unless you're getting flip bayonet karambit butterfly skeleton or oh, well there's no skeleton dopplers but you want to keep it on those super desired you know knife types because people yeah people want those and no one's gonna withdraw them if they're like navajas but also gloves at this price range are very good as well so something to keep in mind there is that gloves are always kind of popular because there's less gloves in circulation than there are knives at least of the mid-tier so yeah just something to keep in mind and lastly for your investors uh this is not something that is my area of expertise so you know take it with a grain of salt uh you know if you think i'm dumb call me dumb in the comments i'll definitely make it my personal mission to learn but right away i see a great opportunity for investment with the synth leafs uh, if you don't know about like collections and csgo saint mark uh has one of the most expensive ak skins being the wild lotus and these glocks are part of the trade up that go to it so uh you trade them up to wild lily and so on but yeah collection skins are a pretty good investment it depends on the collection but like um you know sunset storm is another good example if you're looking like emerald jormungandr as well you can get the gungnir from that collection and uh yeah and onitaji i believe comes from sunset storm collection i might be totally wrong on that but uh they're great investment skins right and then things like uh things that are very fluid like your fuel injectors your print streams those are very nice for investment as well because as long as the csgo market is healthy it's going up in price always same with red lines if you can just hold a bunch of red lines you're probably going to eventually make money on them uh you never know but also these tight like stickers that are in here that are worth this much are definite investments just like just like these uh team liquid stockholm stickers or these all stair uh you know rio stickers like any stickers you see in here like you know note them in your mind because if someone's selling them more than likely someone can invest in them so that's just you know something to keep in mind uh things like the fallout warning especially if they're like you know of a good wear or good float whatever you want to call it uh containment breaches in that collection as well these look like failed trade-ups uh, i think on the dust collection but yeah you guys get the point or at least i hope you do if, if anything wasn't clear let me know down below in the comments i'm happy to clarify i'm happy to do more research and you know figure things out fully but hopefully you guys at least get the concept and it's a good refresher from the last time that I made the video. So yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me here today. Hope you did all enjoy and maybe hopefully you learned something. So yeah, guys, that is all I got for you and I will see you all tomorrow. Peace out.